concealed. A politician commented on the ongoing debate surrounding victory and defeat in the 70-day war between Lebanon and the occupying entity, saying, It's true that both sides claim to have achieved victory, but the measure of truth is simple. Look at the scene of the displaced on both sides of the border. The joyful return of people signifies the side of victory, while the sombre refusal to return marks the side of defeat. Behind the scenes an informed security source predicted that the occupying army and its leadership might commit serious violations during the 60-day period designated for ceasefire arrangements and withdrawal from the South. Some of these actions, the source warned, could verge on hysteria, especially in light of the shock that struck both the occupiers and others witnessing the overwhelming popular flood of returnees to their villages, an influx impossible to control. This, the source added, places significant responsibilities on the Lebanese state, including its diplomatic, military and security institutions, to scrutinize any aggressive measures that can't be tolerated. Examples include attempts to dictate when and where citizens may enter or leave areas south of the Latani River, as though South Lebanon were another Gaza. Failure to address such provocations could quickly lead to individual initiatives to open fire on the occupying forces, plunging the situation into chaos. People view their return as a rightful homecoming to a sovereign nation with its own state, army, as free citizens where the era of occupation is over, unless, of course, the government holds a different view. Gaza after Lebanon, political commentary by Nasser Kandil. Many questions have arisen about Gaza's situation following the ceasefire on Lebanon's front. These are worthy of discussion, even though some are deliberately framed to undermine the credibility of the resistance in Lebanon, accusing it of abandoning its commitment to supporting Gaza. Such accusations ignore the extensive sacrifices the resistance has made, the scale of its contributions, and the uniquely challenging circumstances Lebanon faces. The confrontation has escalated into a war of destruction threatening all of Lebanon, amidst significant opposition from any Lebanese factions to the concept of unity of battlefronts, arguing that Lebanon cannot bear the cost. Over the past year of conflict, the resistance has endured substantial sacrifices within its structure and its community to prevent the war's repercussions from spilling into Lebanon's core. Regardless of this context, the effects of the ceasefire on Lebanon's front have started to emerge positively for Gaza, contrary to initial negative expectations. The ceasefire has sparked increased international calls for a similar agreement to end the war on Gaza. Global media attention, previously dominated by the two-month war waged by the occupying entity on Lebanon, has shifted back to Gaza. This has rekindled global public opinion sympathy with the plight of the Palestinian people, evident in reports from human rights and health organizations and appeals by international bodies to address Gaza's dire humanitarian and health crisis. The ceasefire in Lebanon has also reinvigorated domestic pressure within the occupying entity, particularly among families of prisoners, to demand a prisoner exchange deal that could bring an end to the war on Gaza. Before the Lebanon war, demonstrations calling for such a deal had swelled significantly with a massive protest involving half a million people in mid-July. Analysts in the occupying entity suggest that one of Netanyahu's motivations for initiating the war on Lebanon was to deflect from these escalating protests, particularly after polls revealed a sharp drop in support for the war on Gaza, falling to 20% compared to the 69% support for the war on Lebanon. The end of the Lebanon war is now expected to revive the prioritization of ending the Gaza war and achieving a prisoner exchange agreement. In the coming days, it may become evident that the firepower-based support for Gaza from Lebanon has paved the way for a new form of support, enabled by the cessation of hostilities.